Has there been any sign of the ship? No, mistress, nor any word of our sister. We do not know where they travel now. The freighter. It is important. And I thought the droid was as well, but I was wrong. Mistress, we still do not know the significance of the ship or the droid. We downloaded all you asked, but we are still no closer to the answers you seek. Then perhaps we will need to have faith that your sister will change her mind, remember her oath, and return to us with the answers we seek. I hope so, mistress. But there has been no word of her since she departed with the other four on the freighter. Four? Yes, mistress. The Iridonian, the Ichani-trained pilot, the exile, and the old woman. Old woman? Yes, mistress. I do not recall seeing her. Mistress, she was secured for much of the time the exile was here. At other times, you were meditating, and we did not wish to disturb you. Mistress, is there something wrong? I am tired. I sometimes feel as if things are collapsing all around us. It is just at the edge of perceptions, waiting. I fear... I fear things will collapse before our enemies reveal themselves. Yes, mistress. I will meditate upon this. Perhaps it will clear my mind. I don't understand why you won't let me take a look. Statement. I've had quite enough tampering at the hands of unskilled meatbags such as yourself. I'm not eager to submit to this treatment now or in the future. Unskilled meatbag? I'll show you unskilled. Appeasement. I did not mean to imply that you were an unskilled meatbag, as incapable of performing rudimentary repairs as holding a hydro spanner. It is only that I am quite particular with my repairs. Perhaps, when I am more confident in your abilities, I will allow you to examine my internal components. If you've got some time, I'd like to see what I can upgrade for you. Yes, I do have a few moments to spare for your work. I would like to know what he is doing here, though. He helps me out with repairs. That isn't a problem, is it? I suppose not. Perhaps in working on my circuitry, your assistant will learn something about how a fully functional droid is constructed. Just ignore him and let's get to work. I would appreciate that. Our group has little in the way of time to spare, and I would not want to delay you from your other duties. Right. Let's get you open. See what you can do. I have to say, you are put together quite well. That wasn't much to do. As I told you, my design is streamlined and efficient, though I am pleased that you were able to make some improvements, and this was not just a waste of my valuable time. There were a few things from my remote that I was able to integrate into your construction. I see. Well, thank you. I'll let you get back to your work. You'll find little welcome here, Jedi. For your own good, I recommend you speak to Administrator Adari, quickly finish your business in Kunda, and go. I will answer your questions. She was the Agricultural Administrator of Dantooine. After the Sith attack, she kept us together. Without her, the only thing you'd see around here are mercenaries. We had problems with Mandalorian mercenaries even before the Jedi Civil War. The Jedi helped clear most of the problem up, but after the war, many soldiers from both sides of the conflict became mercenaries. And since we're so far from the core, some started gathering here. The difference between an out-of-work mercenary and a raider is a vibroblade's edge. The only thing we can prove they've done is intimidate a few farmers. The farmers give them goods, money, or food just to stay on their good side. The only one that isn't scared of them is the administrator. There have also been a lot of disappearances recently, and not all of them can be blamed on calf hounds but nobody can prove the mercenaries are responsible. A farmer here and there, or a family. We lost enough people during the war that keeping the Calf Hound and Kinrath populations under control hasn't been possible. 
So there are a lot of animal attacks. Some deaths, too. The disappearances might be just coincidence, but a lot of the stubborn folks seem to be more accident-prone. Kunde is the big building just outside the landing port. It used to be the estate of a man named Matali, but he and his family disappeared around the time of the bombardment. The administrator rebuilt it, and now this is our center of government. I know it doesn't look like much, but there aren't many settlers that live on this planet. This building is the start of something new for us. We're very proud of it. We're working on it. Is there anything else you'd want to talk about? Just head into the building and you'll find your way to the administrator. I'll be over by the entrance if you need anything else. Greetings and good day, traveler. Is there something I... I am conducting my appointed rounds. May I be of any further service to you? Dantooine is a rural world, far removed from most galactic trade routes. Historically, agriculture... Since the destruction of the Jedi Enclave, so the famed ruins of the Jedi Enclave can be found. Zeron strongly urges salvagers. My apologies, I have error. Memory over. May I be over? Processing. Exterior damage analysis. Level seven impairment. Multiple casing breaches detected. Bipedal memory storage overflow. Greetings, Jedi. Welcome back to Dantooine. Hey, did that droid just call you a Jedi? A Jedi. I've got to tell the others. I'm sorry, Master Jedi. I won't tell nobody if you spare me. I promise. <laughs> Approximately five years ago, the dark, the attack. You are on the register as one of the Jedi who left the Enclave to fight in the Mandalore. You had no direct interaction with this droid. However, I had one instance of a conversation between Masters Rook and Vandar regarding you. Beginning playback. Error. Recording partially corrupted. Resolving. Today I caught him in a heated argument with my Padawan. His master refuses to properly discipline. I want to know what action you intend. Rook, I respect your wisdom, but it is not your concern. But uncontrolled. Whatever the other Padawans see him do, they are quick to do the same. Other students dislike him intensely. True, an average student of the Force, but with a unique strength. He's a natural leader. I strongly disagree. Mediocre Jedi. Lust for power. Will lead to the dark side. Furthermore, it... Recording degraded. End playback. May I be of any further service to you? My memory banks recognize you as a Jedi. You are on the register. 
May I? If you will. It
You'll find little welcome here, Jedi. For your own good, I recommend you speak to Administrator Adari quickly. I will answer. Do you actually believe a Jedi would return here? After all they've done to us? They wouldn't dare. They certainly would. Well, you remember how they were. Always so superior, so arrogant, and never lending a hand when we really needed them. I still don't believe it. You should. My cousin's friend, he used to tend the gardens around the Enclave. He swears he saw a Jedi in Kunda. Could be hiding anywhere. Well, I hope it's true. I hear there's a bounty on them, and we could certainly use the money. Unless somebody beats you to it. The savages keep coming here and bothering the militia. If it weren't for the Jedi, we'd be a prosperous community. Welcome to Kunda. You're a salvager, right? You'll need to see Administrator Adare to get access to the ruins. If you need directions to anything else, just ask. Garavik is a salvager, the worst one of the lot. Try to stay clear of him. He's a dangerous one to cross. Her office is directly behind this room. 
You really can't miss it. She can see you now, if you like. The things that would most interest you are our weapon merchant, Anzeron, the leader of our militia. Akere is still around here somewhere, too. He sells droid components. Certainly. Zeron keeps goading them. Your luck is not of the hapless settler. You are the newcomer that lands in a battered ship. Yes. No friendly greetings are here for you. I come here to speak to the militia and make them understand a truth. Something of mine they have in their possession. It's very unwise to stand in my way. I am done being inconvenienced by you. Another interruption. Welcome to Kunda. I am Administrator Turina Adari. You're the owner of the, um, ship that just landed? I meant no disrespect at all. It is, in fact, a remarkable vessel. And unless I'm much mistaken, that's the Ebon Hawk. That vessel has been on Dantooine before, during the war. That was a Jedi vessel. That is an unfortunate truth. And a wise request, which, of course, I will honor. Most settlers here hold bitter memories of the Sith occupation. Right or wrong, our settlers blame the Jedi and their hidden enclave for their suffering. I remember the old Jedi Masters and the considerable help they lent to Dantooine. I still maintain discreet connections with Jedi. I suppose your arrival here is no coincidence. I feel I must step carefully here. You are not like other Jedi I have known. You seem darker somehow. Yes, I understand. Say no more. For good or ill, I feel you are the only one remaining who can help me with the present situation, my friend. Let's just call him Frook. We've known each other for many years. And our continued friendship could create many problems in the current political climate. He came to Dantooine not too long ago. He was looking into something quite important. He's gone missing recently. Did he send for you in case something went wrong? We need the skills of a Jedi more than ever. He was helping investigate Asgul and his mercenaries. But he had his own errand to run in the Enclave. Jedi business of some sort. He went into the sublevel, which isn't without its dangers, and he hasn't returned. I'm starting to fear the worst. Would you be willing to go to the ruins of the Enclave to look for him? We are fortunate that you've come. Don't expect it to be easy, though. Things rarely are with Jedi. I will have one of the militia transmit permissions to the Enclave's security door. Go expecting danger, for you will most certainly find it there. Is there anything else I can assist you with? He was investigating. Vrook was... If you... There are plenty of opportunities to assist people on Dantooine. Too many, I'm afraid. I would go to the militia headquarters and make your intentions known there. Besides that, just listen and ask around.
What brings you to Kunda? Do you have any troubles to report? I'm here to help. I just hope you aren't here about Garavik. You haven't? Well, that's something. I'm the second in command over here, and we keep getting incidents. Our staff is stretched thin. Too thin. If you do have trouble, I'm not the one to talk to. You need to talk to Zeron. He takes a hands-on role as the militia captain. Uh, this is... sensitive. It's not really a secret, though. A lot of people are upset with Zeron. He's a hard man and doesn't answer to anybody. Except, I suppose, the administrator. The thing is, he expects everyone to follow all the laws. That's not normally a bad thing. But the mercenaries are used to having a bit more freedom. So, it's like Zeron keeps prodding a ranker with a stun stick. To a ranker, it's just a minor nuisance. But if you keep at it, he's gonna fight back. The mercenaries aren't unreasonable. They're mostly just war veterans looking for work. But Zeron just keeps poking them. So he has to get involved to make sure that the militia does what he wants. Otherwise, we'd probably give the mercenaries some room. Maybe. It's hard to say. It's tricky. I also think he's doing more to provoke... Th if someone could just ask a few questions. Just look around. See if Zeron's up to something on the side. Something that'll hurt the fragile peace we got with the mercenaries. So if you happen to find something out like that, you should see it We should probably talk about something else. All right. Captain here, are you here because you're in trouble or looking for it? I see. Well, what's your reason for coming to Militia Headquarters? Rare thing a visitor wanting to help out. Looks to me like you're here to explore the Jedi ruins. But we have a thing or two that need doing. You seriously want to help, just ask about it. Or any other questions you might have. You want something? I've seen a lot of visitors come through Kunda. You're the first one in a while that looks the capable sort. We have a small problem with Kinrath. Maybe you've already seen some of them. They're coming from a cave in the Kunda Plains. I'd take care of it myself, but there aren't many people in the militia. We'd lose too many men. There's a reward if you do it. Kinrath are normally just pests. We think something happened to their nest. Started near the end of the Civil War. Nobody knows for sure. Even the Athorian. And they're smart about such things. Two thousand credits. I agree with you, but I don't barter. That's all I can ask. You want...
Some of the salvagers went deep into the ruins and found a lot of Jedi relics. It's the most valuable all the salvagers ever got. But all the salvagers that went down there are dead. So it seems every day or so some salvager comes claiming they're owed by such and such or that they're related. The whole thing makes me sick. But that was a fair fight. They were with me. I just hope someone takes this blasted claim. You... He did, did he? What's this about? I know we don't agree on this, but he's crossing a line. He lives in his sheltered, settler world. He doesn't know what some people are capable of. So he's asked you to go looking into what I'm up to. If I didn't need every last man here. I appreciate. Hmm. All right, I can use your help. But you can't tell anyone. There's a mercenary captain near what's left of the Jedi Enclave's courtyard. His name is Dopak. Just tell him that I said, go ahead. That's all. You have questions, but it's like this conversation never happened, got it? Just do it. It'll help out Kunda. We can talk more later. Settlers and salvagers are always at odds. Hello there. Yeah. I see. Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to go. So a friendly. I'd stay. Follow the rule. I'll tell you anything that's public knowledge. I'm here. All right. Hello there. All right. Hello there. I don't even want to get into it. Ask around if you want to know the details. It'll just make my headache worse if I talk about it. I don't know. All right. Hello there. Uh, we should. All right. Are you waiting for the administrator too? You won't have to wait too long. But if you want results, now th Kunda's like a droid without his power cell. Useless. We have problems all over, and the most you can get out of the administrator is a pat in the back. I'm sick of all their excuses and empty words. I need justice now. I fought in the war, and I know how to use my blaster rifle. If the administrator or Zeron doesn't do something, Salvagers are the problem. They strip bare... I'm not a violent man. I've had my share of it in the war. But I can't farm without my equipment. Well, yes and no. I brought my moisture vaporator to Kunda to be serviced. On the way back to my farm, I took a shortcut next to the Enclave ruins. Damn Lagrix came out of nowhere. I had to run before they made a meal of me. When I returned to retrieve... My farm is the closest to the Enclave ruins. It has to be someone nearby. And if the mercenaries wanted it, they'd just take it in broad daylight. The closest place besides that is the salvager camp, so it has to be them. You ever met one of them? Thievery wouldn't be too far a stretch for any of them. 
The other day I had to take a shot at one of them. Soon someone is going to get killed, and Dantooine has enough trouble without that. A lot of farming equipment. It's not even valuable. I suppose you could. Actually, if you could go to this salvager camp and convince... I'm not rich, but... It's right next to the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. Just follow the smell. You can't miss them. That's great. I'm certainly...